So we're back on macOS, this time looking at taking screenshots and screen recordings. Doing each of these is super useful and easy, so let's dive in. Let's start off with the basics. If you want to capture your whole screen, then use a keyboard shortcut Command Shift 3. Or you can choose what to capture using the keyboard shortcut Command Shift 4. When you use this shortcut, your screen will freeze except for any videos playing and your mouse will turn into a crosshair. Now use your mouse and make the selection by clicking and dragging over what you want to screenshot. Notice the part of the screen that you select is darkened. When you let go of your mouse, that part of the screen will be captured. Lastly, you can use a keyboard shortcut Command Shift 5 to open the screenshots app which will give you more advanced options. At the bottom of the screen, your toolbar will appear with your different screenshot options. Hovering over each option will tell you what that tool does. Capture Entire Screen will let you choose which screen you would like to capture. Capture Selected Window will let you choose which window to capture. And lastly, Capture Selected Portion will let you free draw what you would like to capture. Moving on to Screen Recording. Record Entire Screen will let you choose which screen you would like to record, or you can capture a selected portion, which will only record your selected part of the screen. To stop recording, click the Stop Recording button in the menu bar. If you have a MacBook with a touch bar, you can control your recording from there too. Lastly, you have the Options menu, where you can change the default location screenshots and recordings are saved, you can set a timer that will delay the start of your screenshot or recording by either 5 or 10 seconds. And if you plan on recording your voice along with your screen capture, you can choose your recording device. Then you have three options, whether to show the thumbnail after your shot, if you want to remember your last screen selection, and if you want to show the mouse clicks while recording. When you're finished taking a screenshot or screen recording, a thumbnail of the shot will appear in the bottom right of the screen. Clicking on the thumbnail will open a snapshot of the image or video that you can annotate and or share. If you just want to save your screenshot, drag it to the right of the screen to dismiss it. It will then save your shot in the default location which is the desktop, unless you decided to change it in the options menu. Alternatively, you can drag the thumbnail anywhere else you would like it to be saved. So that's a simple and more advanced way of taking screenshots and screen recordings on macOS. You may never know when you need to use these useful features, but hey, here they are. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe as that really helps out the channel. Also, share this video with any other Mac users who may find this tech tip useful. If you're leaving with more questions and answers, put those in the comments below. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week.